Hello everyone, Digfig here, and welcome back to some more Metroid Exodus. We left off, uh, just killed the giant flying dat demon thingy up in the sky, and now we're gonna move in on here. Um, I do hear ghouls. I've heard some ghoul sounds around here. I did cap a ghoul in the back of the head. That's where I said capped. Um, I killed the ghoul by shooting him back the head on the way in here. I'm just gonna light up all this stuff, because I just like lighting all the lights. No one likes the dark in games like this, especially not to me. Okay, hello there, my ghoulie friends. Um, not a big fan of y'all just standing around all fucking weird like. That could have went so much worse. Or that was damn near perfect. And I damn near perfect I mean I don't know what the deal with the big ghoul is so I'm double tapping him and I ain't fucking around with you nor am I fucking around with you where are you going buddy and say so you could run away um yeah big ghoul not a big fan of maybe could have went better I don't feel like I wasted too much ammo doing that but either way sure I could have I could have not double tapped that was a fuck up Big ghoul's got like a loincloth on. Oh. What's just that big thing out there? Being Mr. Fish and McGee. I see that stuff in that box. There's just magic stuff in the box. I mean, way to go metal detector for letting me know, but still, what the heck? Um, so what else is in here? There was just that. I bet there's stuff in these train cars. Oh, I also have something up here like, oh, holy shit. There's, there's this weird, glitchy, buggy, weird mechanical thing where just sometimes you step up on a ledge and it just hooks you forward. That's what just happened. And it's those little things of why I'm not playing on Ranger Hardcore anymore. Um, it's too frequent. Like, that would be stupid if I had to replay another hour of content just because the game decided to be wonky and slightly bug out like that. Like, no thank you. Could my aim get any worse? And, like, am I just air... Shooting emptiness stuff right now? Yes. Okay. We can aim. Like, we know how to aim. We just need to actually properly aim. Don't throw bricks at me, you bastard. Again, I double tapped him. Why? I don't know. I didn't say you could run away either. But I went just about as poorly as the first time, except for now I also have to use a med pack. Oh, eh, it's fine. I like garbage. It's kind of what I deserve, right? What else were you beeping at? Was that just what you were beeping at? Guess we'll do these train cars down here this time instead of. Ooh, two new parts. Metal detector. Kind of digging it, to be honest. Not a big fan of the random sound, but. I am a loot whore, and anything that drives me and directs me to loot, I do like. How many rounds did I actually waste? 21, 5, should reload. Do this right here in the worst spot possible. Craft another one of you. Give some ammo. Good to go. What else am I looking at? So now I need to not be sprinting up here and just walk slowly and not have it glitch huck me. Glitch huck? That's what I like calling that. Glitch huck me into things. Because that is really not something I enjoyed. This is like a stealth area. Is there going to be loot up here? Am I going to have to climb all the way back down? Ooh, loot. Okay with that. Um, ch -ch -ch, a new note. At some point I need to go through and read all the notes. This feels like one of those we're gonna possibly make you fall and make a whole bunch of noise and trigger a giant spawn of things. Kind of what this feels like. Jolly, totally 100% honest here. Um, 
the vibe I'm getting. Jump down slowly but surely. So those are the heretic people. Or I'm a heretic to them. Those are the worshipper people. I need a way down, then I'll go over there and talk to them. They don't look per se hostile, but I mean, I guess all the other ones I've come across haven't been openly hostile, so there's no reason to start becoming openly hostile towards them. A little thingy. Super aggressive. Um, slide down here. There's a bunch of dead things around here, which kind of makes me worried about these few heretics I'm gonna go walk up in on. But I keep calling them heretics, the cultists that I'm gonna go walk up on. Makes me worried. I'm the heretic. Just because they call me a heretic doesn't mean I call them a heretic. Light the fire. Chew. Another one dead right there. No idea what killed all of them, but something did. Let's go loot any of these things. Now they look like properly burial people. Should be right on the other side of this wall, right? It is F5. That was F4. This is F5. Walk out and say hi. Holster. Going, fish people. Who goes there? That's me. Look, a heretic. Has got anything to say Shit. for yourself? As if we didn't have enough trouble already. No, nothing to I say. I see you are a reasonable man, traveler. You don't point your gun at us, and you seem to respect our faith. Still, we don't have time to talk to you. We are paladins, warriors of true faith, and we are on a quest. We have to triumph over the demons of electricity with faith alone. And that's why we're setting the holy symbols around us. We also have to say our prayers, for any mistake could cost us lives. Okay. That's why you better leave. Uh, thank you for behaving the way you do, but still, it's dangerous for an outsider to be here. And you could spell our doom with your lack of belief. Okay, I guess I'll just kind of leave. Do you really have a lot to do? Oh, well, camp here. Everything looks kind of dead here, though. They're just praying, praying over there. I'm trying to listen to it way off in the distance, but super quiet. What are you beeping at? I heard you beeping. Ah, uh, it doesn't be for chemicals. That's gonna be a problem, so I can't fully trust it. What will happen to this guy? Can't loot him either. Interesting. Someone came up in here and did some Rick roll in. And some major killing on these. Don't shoot! Don't shoot, please! I don't know anything. He was just a game, like any other. But one of them assholes just had to cheat, and he did pull first. And before I could even say anything, they all opened up. Okay. And they all went crazy. I could do nothing. Nothing. I'm telling you. I'm no liar. Bobber will vouch for me. And just Bobber don't is. shoot. 
Not shooting. But all I can do with you though? Major interaction? Okay. No? Fine then, I guess. I feel like I should be able to interact with him more. I kind of want to, but I'm not going to. Um, little back area. No way out of back area. Any more dialogue? Nope. Okay. Um, so I want to say that I don't see any money, but there's no. I don't think any currency is super valid. Hey, a bus with nothing in it. But it is in a little establishment bus, so that is one of those exceptions to what I said earlier, where buses usually have loot, loot in them. I have a hiccup, excuse me. That's the camp I already looted and checked. Get up here. I look like it. That's a hard no. F5, save it before we go get into some shenanigans. Starting to wander... Closer to my objectives, I guess, here. Another ghoul over there. I don't know what he's protecting. I guess I'll go wander over in this general direction. What's going on, buddy? You just stumbling around? I know, it's a hard life. I missed. Nailed the second one. Missed the first one. The whole bunch of other ghouls. Pump up the air rifle. Guess we'll move on in here. Um, got one off to my right, two slow walking towards me. Really? Really? All kinds of misses up in there. Yes, we will just keep burning ammo. Pop you. Why did I pull the trigger then? I don't know. Kill him. You're gonna come back at me? Here you are. We'll give it one pump and then I will take aim. Pull the trigger. And finally make one of my shots. Embarrassing. But we're doing it live before the tubes. Not much you can do about it. Gotta take the embarrassment as it comes and keep on keeping on. I'm going to take aim and actually one shot that thing instead of fucking with the air rifle on the big guy here. These other medium guys, I'll fuck with the air rifle. Come on, guy. Come on, buddy. I know, it's hard. I'm way over here, you're way over there. Really, dude, you're gonna make me use real bullets. Use real bullets on you. Um, things looking good. This I kind of want the ammo for. I also only have three minutes on air filters. Damn it. Make one. The chemicals are running kind of low. I do need to go in here, and this was a gas mask area. So, we'll do it. It's also slightly radioactive. Look, what are they hiding back here, right? Ooh, hiding an upgrade for my actual gun, so I can't full complain on that one. Else did, why did it beep again? We done in there? Is that all it was? It was just the upgraded... Metal detector says there's something somewhere. I don't really like hanging around here this much. Found it. Um, let's get out of there before I take any more damage. Mask off. Still taking radiation damage. Damn. Um, what was that? Does it sound mad? Oh, 
fine. You just stay away from the water. Those things can't get to you, and you'll be fine. At least maybe like two. I was a little injured. I could have went a little bit longer before popping one in, but. Um, so what's going on here? We got dead guys just kind of floating out here. Got doors I can go in. Another little safe house? That would be convenient. Look at that. Nice little safe house. And a tape. What's tape say? Guess it's one way. Oh, I'm not done. We have to get rid of the rest of the equipment. It does attract the ball lightning, and it's not like we are ever going to restore the normal supply of electricity without our generator. So, what's the point in taking a risk by keeping the stuff? We can live without it. October 7th. Roman is dead. That catfish. Yes. There was no real need to gather everyone. We could have gone through it gradually. And it is true that some of the actual useful stuff got thrown into the river too. But such things are bound to happen. It's hardly worth starting a commotion over it, jumping into the water. <sighs> he definitely could feel the power seeping through his fingers. But to go so far as to raise a hand against Salentis? It happened exactly the way the man told us it would too. December 31st. The tape is coming to an end, just as this year. God willing, our troubles are going to end with it, too. We're no longer alone in this world. The God is with us, so who could stand the conversion? Them? Not me, that's for sure. And this means this log is done for. A New Year's Eve is a perfect time to turn a new page. <laughs> Besides, as Father Salantius says, electricity. Um, I mean, I think it's a sin when you're dealing with the ball lightning and catastrophic events, people try and latch on to anything, you know? I'm curious what happens if I kill these ball lightnings, prove my worth, and or kill the god they worship, the giant fish. I'd be really curious how that plays out. I wonder how much ammo it would take to take down the giant fish too. I have to do some quick load saving shenanigans at some point. Place, see if we can take all that crap down. Good morning, everybody. We're back in a week. Get on out of here. Um, sounds like not friendly things off to the outside there. Guy's got loot on him because the metal detector is freaking out about it. Um, got a little thing here I can go up in the staircase. We're just kind of like wandering off into the power plant here. I suppose like these giant ball lightning things of doom, death, and destruction. I'm sure everyone likes to talk about and all these tapes and the worshippers and the fish people. So let's go see what their all their shenanigans are about here.
hear something. I think it's the flying guys above me I hear. I'd like to not have to pop off on them. This is just clearly locked, right? Yeah, okay. There was almost no doubt that, that was going to be locked up real tight. Um, fence doesn't look like a way across. I don't see any other ways across here. Like we're doing this. Metal detector was buzzing a little, but it could be below. Oh no, this guy right here. Thanks for the free loots, my friend. Um, not the things overhead. Worshipper stuff. Not sure what you're beeping at. Presumably it's down there, a place I honestly don't feel like going. It's gonna lie. Um Don't wanna risk it. Looks like a boat territory. I'm not on a boat. Hopefully they were just beeping at that guy. That would be convenient. Can't climb through the pipe. Um, I think I can make that jump. Technically, I think I could. Want to? That's a whole nother question. Do I have to? Another question. Looks like I'm going to want to take a boat down there. Can jump around up and over that. Another locked no. <sighs> stupid fucking game. That was that stupid. I went over a ledge again and it just straight up spit me off. Sprint. Sprint off. Ugh. Fine. Holy. Again. Luckily, I'm not on Ranger Hardcore anymore because that stuff would be so irritating, those stupid little bugs. But either way, everyone, we're out of time for this episode. I really do appreciate y'all stopping by and checking it out. And if you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, do all the YouTube stuff, watch all the content front to back because that is the best thing you can do to help a YouTuber you enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Dig fig out! Okay, I don't know how to get in there, but we're going to figure it out in the next episode.